Okay, today we're gonna test out Remnant 2, uh, which is the second one from Remnant. Um, yeah, we're gonna see how it performs and how it runs uh, on uh, on the 48 laptop. Um, let's see, we have motion blur off. Uh, we're gonna disable frame generation and Nvidia. Uh, let's not do that. Let's do none. So maximum frame rate is unlocked nice everything is ultra maxed out for what it is and minimize input likeness it basically reflex right for uh, frame generation but we, just, we can just keep it on uh, it's 1080p and see how it performs uh confirm yep let's see if it actually did confirm yeah upscalers are off so this game is really rough to run everybody was criticizing it uh, when it came out uh I moved into this village because um, this is pretty much on the start and this is really rough to render. Um, yeah, so you can already see the frame rate is pretty darn rough, even at 1080p. And this is like a really fast GPU for laptops. So yeah, that's uh, at higher resolutions. <sighs> Oof, man. Oof. So we're sitting around 70 FPS. Uh, let's uh, enable DLSS. Uh, not DLA quality. Yep. Did it save? Yep. Okay. So with DLSS quality, you can see the usage of the GPU went from like 100% to like 77. But we are like hard stuck on the CPU. This is like really CPU demanding. Uh, still the frame rate is pretty nice. It's around like 100, but when you look into the village, it's like 85. You didn't really gain much, right? Performance-wise, so... And this is where frame generation comes in, but there is some problem with frame, ge frame generation in this game. Um, the game doesn't really have uh, an unlocked cap on frame rate. It will lock towards your refresh rate. Now, the screen that I use is an LG C2, which is like an, uh, an OLED TV. And yeah, like that's only 120, right? So you'll still have like a smooth experience, but you will not be able to test the whole card out. So let's just enable it, see what happens. Frame gen on. So yeah, like 70% usage. So there's a lot of overhead on the, like, it's like rock solid to 120, like, if it was uncapped, it will probably go to like the 160s or 180s, maybe even. It dipped down a little bit there, but I think there was like a little bit of a load in stutter. Yeah, in general, like, if you want to play it, it's ultra with this card, uh, with frame gen on. This is what I mean with frame gen. It's like frame gen really removes the CPU bottleneck. And it's really responsive. Like, this game is really responsive. Feels really good. Wow. Yeah, this just came out. And this is, I think it's an Unreal 5 engine uh, game, right? So, yeah, really high demand, demanding game. Uh, frame, VRAM is like 8, around 8. I used a total of 9 because I have, uh, I have two desktops running right now. But yeah, in other words, uh, runs like really well. Um, yeah, that's by far the most demanding area like uh, I could find. At the start, when you start the game, you sit at like 100 already without DLSS. So um, yeah, this is really smooth. Super. So yeah, I will move to the next game. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.